is drying, we are going to be fitting uh, the new spotlight kit. Whilst the front, deck, the front is already broken down, um, so it's handy timing. So we're going to get this on. There are some instructions I believe you can download because it doesn't come with any. Um, but this looks quite straightforward. A lot of this we won't be using because it's there really for the actual Land Rover halogen lamps, which we're not using. So we are going to be using these brackets. We are going to be using some of the fixing bolts and probably some of the um, some of the rib nuts and all that kind of stuff. But I believe these are specifically for the Land Rover spotlights, which we're not going to use. I think these are also for it as well, but uh, they might be gaskets. So uh, we'll have a look. Uh, but let's tear it apart and have a look, see what's going on with it. First one to fit one of these, obviously, as you'll see on YouTube. I think Sam's uh, motor machine, he has fit these as well. He's got a later Land Rover to me. Um, I've had this kit, oh, ID. Um, I've had this kit and my Ox Beam Spotlights, which I've wanted for ages. And uh, so, Sam, I promise you, I'm not copying you. Um, it just so happens that this is exactly the plan I was going to be doing. It's just sitting in my box of box of bits to install. Um, and I didn't want to do everything whilst, that, whilst the, the bumper was off. So I tend to try and do everything at the same time so I don't keep taking things on and off again. Anyways, let's get this opened up. So there. So how does that function? It basically shows show you these. Uh, this this nut here, or a clasp of these two, is this one and know, that one. So that'll be the same both sides. So I'll take that pad out, I'll probably just push it down. That'll get those two out. And then underneath, there's these two, which are, if you can see, one there and the other one is tucked away back there. Big 14, 15 mil bolts or something, maybe even 16s. Got a little little friend living in my car, look. Yeah, stay at that thing. Crikey. scrub while I have a chance. This can now go, now go back up like, like that. There we go. Right, so now I can mark these holes up. So we can get this, this piece is now out of the way. And we've now been able to push this back onto the actual cast just for safekeeping. We can now get to both holes. So I need to drill an 11 mil hole on both these places here. Put rib nuts in, which is good because I've got a rib nut um, gun. That can go on. And then uh, I screw the actual mounts on themselves. So that's the next thing to do.
what? And these are rib nuts. Never used them before, they're rivets, but they're a nine. Uh, so you need a rib nut tool to actually set these. Or you can use a bolt and a nut and faff, but for like 12 quid you can go on eBay or Amazon, pick yourself up. A rib nut machine, which I'll show you. on your rib nut, you then pull these together, which that one's set. The other one. Oh, back break that one. Okay. So still waiting. That's set in really well. We can get the bracket now. And actually have this in place. So this actually goes the other side, so I'm not going to worry about that one for the minute. Put it back in that. Like that. Like that. There we go. So that is that is a pretty firm spot that I hold it. My phone battery ran out. And I didn't realise, so apologies. But we've got these two drilled out finally. Took a lot of wiggling around with the with the 10 mil. And eventually got 11 mil through there and these are rib nutted on. So these are ready to go. Didn't do anything else because I wanted to film it. So in the meantime I've been cleaning the lights so they're all nice ready to go in. And the parking sensors, they're all ready as well. So next thing to do will be to get this back on. And fingers crossed, this other hole's in the right place. If it's not, I'm not bothering for a bolting. Because <laughs> that was horrendous. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okie dokie. So they are all in and they're fine. So I'm gonna grab scissors because whether it's Range Rover or the, whether it's previous owner, when they put zip ties on, they just leave them. And uh, these foam pads aren't going to go back on, I don't think. So we'll leave them out for just for the time being. Uh, I need to get the plastic panel in there first and then pinned to this and then screwed on and then this will go on over the top. Let's grab that one back. Oh, hang on, bumper come off first, isn't it? Ooh.
that was quite an involved job actually putting spotlights on um spotlight holders um so essentially this has to come off this has to be lowered down drilled out with well sharp drill bits not rubbish ones like mine but this does go on quite well and then they feed the water pipe underneath uh through through the actual mount itself all goes back together quite ni nice and neatly uh, i've got lights and everything ready to go my bumper's driving uh, drying in the back garden um we've got making sure all my my things are still hanging out here which they are so i've got parking sensor fog light parking sensor parking sensor hang on fog light parking sensors one two three four parking sensors and we're ready for the bumper when that dries We've still got to mark up the bumper, of course, with uh, kit. You do get this, this kind of template with it. Show you, which is this. So I have to mark out here. This basically shows where it is. That's this in the center line. And I have to work out where on the bumper it needs to be. Okay. Now we're back together from the Raptor. We're just going to mark up the holes for these, which we didn't do before we put the grill back on. So for the mounts, which are under here somewhere. So what came with the kit? This kit here. So when we've got centre mark, which we've got here, this will go basically in the centre. Okay. Right, in theory, this should be dead on where the holes are, so I'm going to have a poke. So, the template works. It is a little bit nerve wracking and it was very slightly off, so you just kind of use the drill bit to widen the hole a little bit. And then, yeah, there is the, the mount. So, this now goes into here. I'm not going to put the rest of the Land Rover mount because I'm not using Land Rover spotlights. The aux beam will come with its own mount. Perfecto. So just the spotlights to go really now. Now, do I give the car a clean? I'm pretty knackered. <laughs>